Jill Miller and this is my van. Her name is My Tiny. That's all original. We bought this. It's a 2008 Dodge Sprinter van. Um, so it's Mercedes under the hood. It had 70,000 miles and in all candor it was 57,000. A lot of people ask. I'm willing to share. It was fully converted. The previous owner had bought a 15 passenger van took out 13 of the seats and then together he, his wife, and their father-in-law built it out. He's a custom home builder so it is really top quality. We bought it after they'd lived in it for a year. They wanted to start a family and so she wanted to buy a new van and build it out with the same layout but the kitchen cut to here so that they could put a third seat for their child. So we got a really good deal on it. At least that's my impression. Like a lot of people, I think you kind of go through the whole, do I want a tiny house? No, I don't want to tow something that big. Do I want to go trailer truck? No, because at that price point, I'm looking at a lot of money for something that's not well built. Plus, I knew that I was going to be doing most of the traveling by myself. My husband is a professor at Cal Poly, as am I, but he often teaches in the summer. I do not, so I knew I was going to need something where I could, you know, jump from the bed to the driver's seat and take off if I needed to. So at the price point, because normally these are way more expensive, uh, we went for this. I had for about a year after deciding I was going to go with the van, looked at converting it myself because I do have construction experience, but it is a lot of work. I have a very high bar on the build and I knew it was going to take me full time probably anywhere from six to nine months. and. I have work that pays a much higher hourly rate, so I thought I'll support van life and buy uh, something that's already built. That was about a year-long process. It took after the decision to buy something that was already built about three to four months to find one that I wanted to buy. Sarah and Alex, who built it, their 40 hours of freedom. This was their first van. She put it on Craigslist. In, they're in San Diego. I'm in Orange County. Uh, the next day I talked my husband, I put him in the passenger seat in our, in our car and we flew down there and I paid cash for it because these go very quickly. As I said, it's 2008 with only 70,000 miles when I bought it, so it's quite the investment and I've been really happy with it since. It's been almost, a, well, a little more than a year that we've owned it. Alright, so one of the first things that they know, people notice when they see the van is that it has a shower and I built a box for the toilet because I wanted a cassette toilet. I didn't want to have to dump with the black tank. So as far as the shower goes, um, it looks like marble, but these are vinyl tiles, which gives it a lot less weight. And um, really happy with the build out of the shower. This is a Nautilus retractable door that we can use when you're done. You just roll it back in. That's a really nice feature. I really like the kitchen area. I like the amount of counter space there is. Um, this refrigerator is on the small side and low, so it can be difficult to get things in and out. Um, this is a portable propane that we bring out for cooking, and I like the fact that I can take it out. I don't have dedicated countertop space for it. I like the sink. I like that I can just take the crumbs right off into the sink. Uh, I would like to have a propane stove that's with an oven combination, so I'm kind of neutral on that. I do, however, love my little oven grill coffee pot combo. Every morning I wake up and I fill this little reservoir with water and I have my coffee. And then the oven part, I can use it on my solar. I have 300 watts of solar and a 2000 watt inverter underneath the bench. And I can cook on this for about 15 minutes before it pulls my, my battery down enough. It draws about 750 watts. So it it will restore back up almost to the previous capacity for my battery, but while it's in use, I've got about maybe 15 minutes max. On this side, I have it, this rack that holds games. We're a big gaming family. And then I have, I haven't maxed out this storage, which I will. I'm sure I will figure out how I want to organize that. I do, I bought this and this is really handy for all my electronics. So it keeps them really stable and not moving around and I can just, use the cavity again, taking up this extra square footage that you lose in the frame. Okay, one of my favorite things about the van is the dresser drawers. There are three. My husband usually has the top one full of clothes. This is mine, full of clothes. And the bottom one is where we, we put all the extra stuff. When, when both of us are traveling, our backpacks go in here. 
and I really, really like the idea of being able to literally sit on the end of the bed and get dressed and have all your clothes there and, and not have to be fishing them out. I really like that part of it. That's the dresser, plus the extra counter space is really, really nice. This was a, a nice little hack. These are Velcroed in, but they're just the, the magazine holders and they work really well for keeping things that you want at the ready, like an extra blanket at night, my, my iPad. On this side, my water bottle, my art kits, but you can put cereal, you know, the cereal cylinders in there. Anything that's either too tall for the cabinets or you want to be able to grab at night, but don't want to have to put away. So I like this. This was a nice little hack. Okay, so as with the kitchen, I'm going to tell you the things that I really like and the things that I don't like about this. Um, I'll start with the, the table. It's a nice butcher block, durable finish just like the countertops here and the dresser. I don't have to worry about putting drinks on here and having a, a drink ring, but it is super heavy. I probably got about 200 plus pounds just in this pedestal table. And even though it's on hydraulic jacks, it does take a lot of force to push it down. And so you can imagine pulling it up into position, down for the bed, up for, for the table. It's a uh, it can be a bit of a bother to do it, especially if you're solo. And then it can be swiveled so that you can get around it. Like if I'm working on that side and my husband's over here, we'll swivel it and that gives us more comfort space. But I really would like a lagoon table where you could just literally push it out of the side and then also be able to remove it and take it elsewhere because it's fixed to the floor. There's, it's an obstruction to anything we need to slide in that's, that's large and it does mean that to get in and out, you have to really learn how to scoot very well. What I do like is having it as a uh, convertible bed. In the daytime, it's very comfortable for John and I to work and we can fit six people comfortably, four, two on each side, uh, two more people here using this as a, as a eating surface. And then we've, we've stuck our grandkids at the at the end of the table. So I, I really do like the fact that it's not a fixed bed. Converting it to a bed only takes about five minutes. Five minutes to convert it down and then five minutes to put it all away. So for me, it's not enough of a hassle for me to have a dedicated bed. Plus, when it's up in a table that just feels much more spacious and open. Something that I love about the van is that it was a passenger van and you have the windows all around. And we have been stuck inside for days on end because of the smoke and the fires. Even when we were at Tahoe, you just wanted to be inside, unfortunately. Rainy weather, gales, uh, wind, we're inside and yet I still feel outside. So I love the fact that there are windows all around. We have insulated covers that cover all the windows and that keeps uh, the heat and the cold out at night fairly well. Um, we do have a little buddy heater. Uh, fourth on my list would be an S-bar heater underneath the passenger seat. And then fifth would be to have the passenger seat swivel. I love the upper cabinets. That's something I really like, but I do wish they'd bulldoze these corners because there have been more than a few times that you're, you're climbing into the seat and you hit your head on these sharp corners. So my husband's threatened to take these all down and bulldoze them, and I think I'll let him do that. <laughs> As you can tell, it's my van. He just has, you know occupancy rights at this point. People ask me about this all the time. This was a sculpture from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just bought two of them and then screwed them in place. There, there's a junction here and then screws on each end and then I strung these little these little laser LED lights around and so at night the switch is over there. I turn on the switch and this whole ceiling lights up with Tivoli lights. It's really pretty at night, yeah. And it's just enough light that you can still read maybe not well but you can watch movies and you're not in pitch black or if you're working on your laptops it provides enough light for that so this i i just got tired of staring at the the white ceiling so i found that and put that up so one other thing i wanted to point out was that this table is shorter than it in its original size they cut off the last part of it if i rotate you can kind of see they built a cabinet here a number of the vans will have this as a complete walkthrough with a lagoon table so that you actually have full width of the space inside if you wanted to bring your bikes in and things like that. But I really like the cabinet that's that uh, spans. I, 
the back. It's got all of our camping equipment in there. It's a quick grab from either inside or outside. And um, when we pull up to a campsite, I'm able to open the doors and then I, I can sit all the way across the back and just that becomes my theater outside with my my seating here. I'm not limited to just only being able to sit side to side. I can actually lay across the back. So I really like that. The closet originally was just a bar across for hanging space. I don't have much that I needed hanging space, so I brought I bought this uh, these shelves so that I had more craft, you know, my craft boxes are in here. Other things like, you know, overflow for clothes, for winter gear, slippers, things like that. This is my catch-all. It's just hanging shelves. Because I do work remotely, I need two monitors. So this is my second monitor. And I have a clamp uh, arm that I clamp onto the end of the tabletop and then I mount this on there and I'm able to use two screens for all my work without taking up any of John's real estate for his work. So we were able to work at that table with three screens and uh, highly efficient. So I've got the, the arm for this and the, the monitor and I'm able to store that in this space as well. Thanks for watching. I, I kept it all natural after three days camping. This is what it's like guys. Uh, again, I'm Jill Miller. You can follow me on Instagram at Retired Desire, but you know I work during the day. I'm a weekender, so I'm trying to give as good advice as I can, and I do appreciate the follows, but it's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs>